Hey, Lisa, you and your roommate have a recycling bin in your dormitory room, don't you? I'm sure I've thrown a water bottle in the bin at your place before. Sure, why do you ask, Mark? Are you wondering where to go to pick one up? I think they have them available in the housing office. No, it's not that. My roommates and I have one, too, and we put it out with our garbage each week. It's just that I read this article in the campus paper today that suggests that none of the dormitories on campus are recycling. Oh, I read that article, too. I agree that the writer obviously didn't check her facts, but she had a point about the lack of bins for recycling paper. I mean, what type of institution goes through more paper than a university? True, and like anything, the budget is always to blame. What I don't get is how they can charge us student dues for things like live entertainment, which many people don't even use, but they can't charge us for something like a recycling program. Maybe you should write a letter to the editor about that. I, for one, wouldn't have a problem throwing in a few dollars each year to do my part for the environment and save a few trees. Maybe, but I'm not sure how many other students would share your enthusiasm. Brought to you by EnglishClub.com
Welcome to the University of Westlands. My name is Marsha Mayhew and I'm the coordinator of the Bachelor of Social Science degree. This morning I'd like to tell you about the structure of the university and about some of the requirements of the degree that you're about to enter. The Bachelor of Social Science is in one faculty within the faculty within the university, that is the faculty where I work, known as Arts and Social Sciences. Here on this campus we also have the faculties of architecture, law and science and technology among others. It's important to know something about the structure of the faculty because, as you go through your course, you may need to call on members of the staff to help you. At the top of the faculty we have a dean and below the dean we have three divisions. Each division has a divisional head and your degree is located in the division of social sciences. Within each of the divisions, there are the departments and each of these offers the different degrees. For instance, two of the departments which offer the major subjects for your award are Sociology and Psychology.
window shoppers. Yes, I asked them what kinds of shops they prefer, and the response was unanimous. Everyone went for department stores. I think that's what young people today want. That's understandable, and that's a useful statistic, I think. I also talked to them about the things they found most difficult to buy. I thought the I thought the answer was going to be something like books or study materials, but it's always clothes. They have problems with things related to hobbies. As far as sportswear is concerned, they complain about the lack of shops that sell it. Not many have trouble buying sweaters and things like that, but shoes and trousers were really problematic. Was that again because there just isn't enough variety? Yes, they say everywhere they just come across the same styles, so they just give up after a while.、Uh, I know what they mean. Lastly, I asked them whom they want to shop with. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this tour of the Wayport Museum. My name is Victoria, and I'll be showing you round today. This will be a two-hour tour, and I'll show you all the key exhibits that we possess. Naturally, we won't be able to look at everything, but the museum will remain. But the museum will remain open for three hours after the tour ends, so you'll be able to see anything you missed then. The building that the museum stands in today has been here since the late 19th century. It was built by the local Wayport Town Council and owned by them until 10 years ago. Although the use of the building changed several times during their ownership, 10 years ago the town council allowed the building to be bought by a group of enthusiasts that had been canvassing for a larger and better equipped town museum for quite a few years. They had gained cash from a variety of fundraising activities that were supported by the general public. The existing small new museum was happy to merge with the new one, and allow the new one to take all the exhibits. And the previous museum director continued in his post at the new museum. The new museum's purchase was also assisted financially by the local engineering company Ryland Limited, whose managing director is a great patron of the arts. At first, the local council wasn't too keen on letting go of the building, but the Central Arts Council in London liked the idea of the new museum and applied some administrative pressure. The local council agreed, and the sale went through fairly quickly. Feng Shui is an ancient Chinese custom. It claims a connection between heaven and earth, both of which directly influence a person's positive energy. Masters of the Feng Shui believe that the energy affects prosperity, particularly health, wealth, and personal relationships. It it also determines favorable places for homes, burial sites, agriculture, and so on. It's now spread outside China. And it's often used to decide the best arrangement for furniture in homes. Feng Shui even affects building design.
So, Hume's very famous contribution to the understanding of the notion of cause is this. He asks, what do we mean by one thing causing another, or one thing necessarily bringing about another? His answer is that we get the notion of causation purely, purely by seeing constant conjunctions of things. We see motion of one billiard ball followed by motion in another ball again and again and again. As a result, when we see the one moving, we naturally infer that the other will move. Remember what Hume says about induction. We do that just naturally by instinct. And he thinks that that instinct is what gives us the notion of causation. We find ourselves inferring B from A, and as a result, because we find ourselves making that inference, that's why we attribute a necessity to the connection between A and B, why we say A is the cause of B. The inference comes first. We find ourselves making the inference, that's why we say there's a causal link. Good morning again, ladies and gentlemen, and in case you've forgotten, my name is Dr. North from the Marine Habitat Research Unit at the University, and I'm going to continue from the lecture that I gave a fortnight ago on humankind's relationship with the sea from a historical point of view, and also on attitudes to different types of fishing. In today's talk, I would like to focus on the current problems in the fishing industry in Europe and, in particular, the present scarcity of marine fish. Professor Johnson also told me that we have to pay a £200 deposit for the equipment. I don't have that kind of money. I can pay the deposit as long as I get it back. My parents have just put some money in the bank from a job I did for the summer. I can get it from the bank when we need it. It should only be for two days, Tony. We can get everything done in that, done in that time. OK, I'll pay the deposit and pick up the equipment from the department. Don't get it just yet. We have to get the authorization to be on the land first. OK. So, if we can get all these jobs done over the next three days, we can meet again on Thursday. If all is okay, we could get the equipment on Friday and survey the field at the weekend. Good. Well, thanks everyone. I'd better be off. Bye.
I do. Without money you basically can't do anything in this world. So, it's always important to save your money because you never know when you're going to need them in the near future and you always want to have some saved in the bank or wherever you can save them. So if that emergency comes, you'll be able to use it, and, and everything will be okay. No doubt, one must live in present, but it's not always good to think about the present, but more so to think about the future of your life, especially your children and family if they look. I'm gonna talk about my favorite season in my home country. Like my favorite season is the Hamata season. This season is more or less like the northeast wind blowing from Sahara down over Nile, down to Nigeria or over Nigeria. While the winds blow from the northeast to the southern part of Nigeria, it carries along dust and some, and some hasty kind of like mist looking weather. And this weather is our time to school during this season to the temperature could vary probably from 25 to 10 probably between the day and the night. Another thing about the season is this you have to take care of yourself because it's so So how do we learn? And why does some of us learn things more easily than others? So, as I just mentioned, I'm Dr. Lara Boyd. I am a brain researcher here at the University of British Columbia. These are the questions that fascinate me. So, br so brain research is one of the great frontiers in the understanding of human physiology, and also in the consideration of what makes us who we are. It's an amazing time to be in the field of brain research, and I would argue to you, that I have the most interesting job in the world.
The White House Press Corps Party by itself is of no particular systemic importance, journos, polls, Hollywood types, social notables wear formals, drink good liquor, listen to a comedian and network. But that a democratically elected leader and a free press find themselves in a situation situation where they can't spend one evening schmoozing suggests systemic near breakdown. Some US media outlets disengaged from the event because Trump is the president. That's at best an immature response, and a telling commentary on how bad things are. So, here's a suggestion, let Trump appear in a press gala with the global media in attendance. Let him say what he wants, and let the MC make fun of him, as is the tradition at the US event. American press is invited of course. The 6th of September 1965 is the day when the Indian forces sneaked into the Wagga border and the Pakistan armed forces, when alerted, put up a valiant defense of the motherland and drove them back, thus taking its name as the Defense of Pakistan Day. Later, it began to be observed not only to, rec only to recall the exploits of Argelwins in the September War, but also during the other aggressive wars the country has had to face since the partition. Homages paid to those who laid down their lives and the sacred cause and wreaths are laid at the graves of especially those ten martyrs who distinguished themselves for their extraordinary valor and were awarded the coveted Nishani hater. Besides, there are countrywide rallies. It is an established fact based on experience that wars are not won solely by the soldiers and the equipment they neither use nor is the possession of a nuclear arsenal a guarantee of security. In my roots, I absorb water for the rest of the plant. Slowly, my stem transports materials between the leaves and roots. To trap sunlight makes the plant able to make food, it takes leaves, stems, and roots to make up the plant. One of the basic parts of the plant is the leaves. The leaves have two functions. Trapping sunlight is important for the leaves to do. In the leaf the plants make their own food there. Leaves are a basic part of a plant. The stem is another important part of the plant. The stem has two purposes. Stems transport materials between the leaves and roots. Leaves and flowers are supported by stems. Stems are a very important part of the plant. Roots are the last part of the plant. The roots have three jobs. The roots absorb water and minerals for the plant. Anchors plant to the ground. 
The roots store food for all of the plant. The roots of the plant are very important. Eighty percent of college students could not identify the current interest rates. Other reasons for forgiveness include death or permanent disability.
President makes this report annually. बॉडी की अपने आप में कोई एग्जिस्टेंस ही नहीं है सब कुछ माइंड के हाथ में बस माइंड हमारे हाथ में नहीं है इसलिए हम इस बात को नहीं समझ पाए माइंड का क्या नेचर है एक टाइम पे दस जगह पावर आप माइंड को कंट्रोल करने की कोशिश कर रहे हो जो सबसे ज्यादा पावरफुल है उससे ज्यादा पावरफुल इस दुनिया में कुछ नहीं है लोग बात करते रहते हैं जिंदगी भर रेस जीतने की काम में किसी भी चीज में एजुकेशन में पढ़ाई में जॉब में इधर उधर बिजनेस में अगर कोई इंसान अपने ध्यान को अपनी मर्जी से रोक सके एक जगह पर किसी तरीके से जितनी देर के लिए चाहे उतनी देर के लिए तो ऐसी कौन सी चीज है दुनिया में जो नहीं की जा सकती जो आपको तंग कर रहा था आपको डार्कनेस की तरफ लेकर के जा रहा था वही आपको लाइफ आप में मुझ में इन में हम सब में क्या फर्क है अगर उसको एक वर्ड में बोला जाए उसको कहेंगे अवेयरनेस किसी का अवेयरनेस लेवल थोड़ा सा कम है किसी का थोड़ा ज्यादा है किसी का बहुत ज्यादा है जिसका जितना ज्यादा है उसके लिए पॉसिबिलिटीज उतनी ही ज्यादा वो सिर्फ एक काम में नहीं वो किसी भी काम में हाथ डालेगा वो सक्सेसफुल किसी भी काम को बहुत जल्दी सीख सकते किसी भी काम में बहुत आगे खेलते तो एक ऐसी स्टेज आ जाती है जब आपके हाथ में कंट्रोल होता है आप जब चाहे जितनी देर के लिए चाहे जिस चीज पे चाहे उस चीज पे उतनी देर के लिए अपने ध्यान को रोक सकते जब भी जहां भी जैसे और जब चाहे अपनी मर्जी से अपने ध्यान को हटा सकते हैं हटा करके कहीं और भी आ सकते अब आपके हाथ में आप एक मिनट रोको एक घंटा रोको एक दिन रोको उस लेवल पे आ जाओगे जब आपका पूरा कंट्रोल होगा अपनी बॉडी पे, अपने माइंड पे, अपने थॉट्स पे, और फिर आप जो चाहोगे वो करें। जिस थॉट को पकड़ना होगा आप पकड़ोगे चूज करना होगा चूज करोगे छोड़ना होगा छोड़ दोगे फिर आप वही करोगे जो आपके लिए और दूसरों के लिए अच्छा होगा आप चाह करके भी कुछ बुरा नहीं मतलब इसका फायदा सिर्फ आपको नहीं होगा सबको पूरी पूरी दुनिया ये सिर्फ आप तक नहीं रहेगा ये फैल जाए अवेयरनेस फैलती है अवेयर अवेयरनेस इज लाइट आप दुनिया की सारी हदों को तोड़ करके आगे निकलना चाहते हो वहां जाना चाहते हो जहां पर कोई हद नहीं कोई लिमिट नहीं है कोई बाउंड्री नहीं है कोई बाउंडेशन नहीं है तो उसका सिर्फ एक तरह अपने हाथ मांग इस तरह का अंदर जाना हो यहां से शक्ति मिलेगी माइंड को बैठा 
और एक बार आप जाकर के इस अवेयरनेस में मर्ज हो गए उसके बाद में कोई हाथ नहीं कोई डर नहीं कोई परवा नहीं कोई लिमिट नहीं ना नाम की कोई चीज नहीं कुछ भी पॉसिबल एवरीथिंग